Hey, it's me again. Um, just got me a new graphics card for the computer I just built. And as it turns out, of course, I need a new graphics processor. And the new thing these days is Bitcoin mining. So they are becoming very scarce. And when you do find them, the prices are outrageous. So I was looking at Micro Center. Micro Center had a deal where they kind of um, putting sympathy, you know, for the for the guys like me who are building PCs and can't get, you know, graphics card at a decent price. So they um, put a deal together to where if you can prove that you're buying or you know making your own gaming system, that they will cut you a deal on them. And basically, I got like this card for about half off, which was a pretty good deal. So that's really nice of them to do that. Um, seeing as how they're in really high demand right now. So anyway, one thing to keep in mind when you're out there, uh, check out Micro Center. Um, might cut you a deal. So I'm going to unbox this bad boy and then install it. Alright, so this is the new MSI Radeon RX 570 graphics card. And it's got had really good reviews, so I thought I'd jump on this one. Um, it's got 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's supposed to be pretty fast. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy. Let's see what we got. That is up. All right. It's a nice box. My side logo intact. And this appears to be documentation, probably drivers and such. Yeah, that's what got there. This is probably going to be documentation, yeah. Kinds of good stuff there. Graphics card, quick start guide. Those are probably the drivers, I imagine. Yep, drivers and license. And a nice little comic book, it looks like. You comic geeks out there like myself, and some stickers and such. You true gamers. True gaming. And that's all we got in that little envelope section. Let's get to the important part. Right here. Thank you, registration card. Very important. And here we got bag boy and this thing is big hoping it fits in my case I think it will but I think I read somewhere that it might be a little long it might actually cover up some slots but hopefully I won't need them so I'm gonna put my static band on and open this sucker up all right got my static band on always wear that don't forget it it's important um, so here we go I'm take it out, out of the case here. Let's see. This guy is a doozy and it's a bit heavy. So just give it enough support. There you go. There she is. Yep. Uh, so that's a big boy. It's got plenty of ports in the back, it's got a DVI, um, it's got, I think it's got two HDMI and looks like two display ports, so it can support up to five monitors, yeah, so pretty heavy duty, um, so we are going to install it, see if it fits in there, hopefully it does. Alright, so this thing is an absolute monster. It looks like it'll fit. I'm going to have to do some wire management. <laughs> Push some things around. But, uh, yeah. So just be aware, if you do decide to buy this particular graphics card, make sure it fits. I'll give you the, the dimensions in a bit. But, um, looks like we're going to be okay. So what I'm going to do is this thing is so big it actually takes up two um, slots here in the back. So I'll take these, just two of these off. I'm going to end up putting it in this one here. This is the first PCI port or slot on this motherboard and it says um, 
for the most efficiency and better performance use that slot so I'm kind of thinking I'm locked into that slot for now um, it's gonna be cramped in this part of the PC but we're gonna go ahead and go that route so I'm gonna take these two out and then uh, install it see what we got by the way by the way I thought I mentioned for this particular board it does have a, a cover over the end here <laughs> So just before you go trying to shove it into the slot, just make sure you remove that first. Okay, so I got it in there. Well, that was fun. So what I ended up having to do is uh, unplug my USB 3 connector down here. I had to unplug my fan down there. I had to move this bad boy out of the way and tie it down. But see, there's not much space there. It's pretty tight. But she's all in there now. Uh, nice and... Steady. And actually, I ended up having to move down a couple slots because the way it, this part was positioned, I thought I was going to have to remove that slot, but not so much. It was these two. Um, come around to the back here. There you go. You got your ports there. Take these caps off. There's the DVI. Mm. They're on a little snug. Yeah, they were in there super duper tight. Actually, had to get some pliers out to remove this. So just keep that in mind. These are in there very firmly and snug. Um, I'm going to leave that. These are two display ports. Actually, I'm just going to leave those in because I don't have any. Any of those kind of outlets. I'm just going to use the HDMI and the DVI. Um, so that's that. Um, next step is we're going to power it on. See what happens. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and power this baby on and... See how she runs. Keep in mind I did unplug things, so that you could always run into problems when you replug things. Alright, so she's powered up. Running. That's a good sign. Um, I don't have any monitors hooked up quite yet, but that'll be the next step to give this thing a proper run through. Let's see how she looks and feels, but I'm pretty happy so far. Everything seems to be good, and I was really concerned about the sound, and it's pretty quiet. It's very quiet. Yes, and they are running. <laughs> yeah, so, pretty cool stuff. Can't wait to see how it runs. Alright, everything seems to be running now. One thing I forgot, like an idiot, was you gotta actually plug in the VGA cable to it. So at first I wasn't getting anything out of it, so I plugged my uh, DVI cable into it. But after that, presto! So, so I'm gonna find, actually I got a, some Windows software I'm gonna install and see how it works under Windows. But uh, for now, Looks good. I haven't really run any games yet, but I was just interested to get an actual screen up. But next post, I'll uh, throw some games up. See you then.